The economics prize 2023 was given to Claudia Goldin, who is a professor of economics and economic history at Harvard University in the US. She was actually the first woman to get tenure at the University, at the university of Harvard uh, ever. Uh, and she has been working on similar things along her career. Uh, she has been doing research on the situation of women on the labor market. So how easy is it to get jobs? How large a share of females do work? And what pay do they get when they work? And before her work, uh, it was expected that there is a monotone relation between how many women work and economic developments. And with monotone here I mean that when the economy develops, more and more women start working. And that was how it looked during uh, the 1900s. But she showed that before that, it was actually a downward trend. Um, in the beginning of the 1800s, it was more women that worked than uh, uh, in the beginning of the 1900s. And the reason was a change in how society worked, more industrial work that made it more difficult for women to combine market work and uh, the things that you needed to do at home. So that led to reduction in the number of, of women who worked. At the same time, actually, the women who did work, they got a better pay and were less discriminated because of, of peace uh, rates in, when you worked, where you got paid for the number of products you produced, and that was actually good for women. Later on, uh, the, there has been an increase in the participation of women. More women work, uh, and there has also been uh, a closing of what we call the wage gap. So the difference in pay between women and men has, has fallen over time. But we haven't got all the way. Uh, it's still uh, less women than work that work, and it's also the case that women get less pay uh, than men. And this is, a, this is something that has big problems. Half of Earth population is obviously women. And it's very important for society that women get the same chances as men to uh, participate in whatever they want in life.